Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Aaron Dawson. I'm the communications manager on the DevRel team at Oracle. And here today I'm speaking with Wilson Randall, who's a solutions engineer on the Code Innovate team. And we're here to talk about what Code Innovate is. Wilson, how's it going? How are you? I'm doing well, Aaron. How are you? I'm so, so good. Look, Code Innovate. Code is good. I like I like code and codes. Me too. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, great first first step here. Um, I love innovation. That's great too. Uh, <laughs> what what is the code innovation team at Oracle? What are y'all up to? What what is this team set out to do? Sure, sure, sure. So the code innovate team at Oracle. What we do is uh, we're we're a structured program where we work with customers to build out their use cases in the cloud. So basically the, the long and short of it is customer brings their vision, their use case. What do they want to build out in the Oracle cloud? We, we bring our cloud engineers, our builders and our developers to the table as well. We get together in a, uh, an online session, like a, a Zoom meeting. And we collaborate and co-develop to build out that solution over the course of a week-long sprint. So it's a great opportunity because, you know, as as you know, a lot of people are still working from home. Yeah. Um, it's a great opportunity for all of us to kind of come together uh, in a central location, uh, build out those use cases, knowledge transfer, get some hands-on experience with the Oracle Cloud, and ultimately come away with some good training and a built out first pass prototype use case. Wow. Okay. Okay. So lots to talk about there. Um, practicalities here. Um, are you in the same room with developers or is this um, a, a virtual effort? Right. So it's, it's all virtual. Mm -hmm. Um you used to be in person, but just with COVID and, and everyone pretty much working from home these days, um, all of it's going to be virtual from uh, from now until until further notice. Yeah, cool. So I have a funny feeling that we'll be doing another video uh, diving more deeply into what Code Innovate is, but just broad strokes here, if you could just capture, like, who is Code Innovate for? You know, like any developer, any team, like who who is Code Innovate for? That's a good question. That's a good question. And the answer is it's for anyone. Um, so as long as you bring the use case, the customer brings the use case, as long as we scope it out to be uh, a net new build, something we can do within a 20 hour sprint. Um, so our, our Code Innovate program is a, a week long of half days, four hour sessions per day. Mm -hmm. Um, as long as it's within those guidelines, doesn't matter who's who you bring to the table. As long as they come with uh, with an understanding, just a baseline understanding of Oracle Cloud, um, and we can help you get to that point. Whether you're brand new to it or you've got existing experience in it, uh, we can enable. We can cover anyone along uh, along those uh, along that spectrum of of experience. Wow. Okay, cool. So I'm going to ask a pretty base question myself, but but a rather important one, I think, mm -hmm. to to anyone who might be watching this and interested in working with you and the Code Innovate team. Uh, at what cost, <laughs> right? Like at what cost? Mm -hmm. What does it take to work with this team? Because basically what you're saying is the Code Innovate team is willing to bring to life the vision of whoever brings a use case qualifying to work with Code Innovate team. And so they're getting a lot of expertise, a lot of experience, probably a lot, in, and maybe you can confirm this, probably a lot of um, OCI resources dedicated to them. So there's a lot of value here. What do they mm -hmm. pay up front, if anything? What does that transactional relationship look like? Yeah, yeah, another good question. Um, so let me unpack a, a few points from that. So the you, you hit upon the, the just the exact points. It's both about the enablement and the knowledge transfer and the hands-on mm -hmm. experience. 
but at the same time, it's it's about also having kind of a first pass prototype, a first pass deliverable for the you know the actual use case or the actual solution uh, that'll be built out during that week of the code innovate. Uh, but what's the cost to the customer? Nothing. There's no dollar amount that we charge for the service of Code Innovate or for our team that we bring to the table. Um, all we ask for is the time. So the uh, 20 hour, you know, those half days sessions for that week, uh, just the time commitment. And then uh, we intentionally like to and we intentionally prefer that we build out these solutions in uh, the customer's environment or the client's environment. And there's there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, but first and foremost is when we're doing this build out um, and, you know, at the end of the week, we have a deliverable or we have a use case that's built out for the customer. It's theirs. It's yours. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. It's it's right there. It's at your fingertips. Um, so you don't really have to worry about, you know, migration or, you know, it works in this environment, but it doesn't work in my environment. And, yeah. and it's just it kind of takes the the guesswork out of that whole process. Um, and in that, you know, depending on the cloud services that we leverage for the week of that event, there might be, you know, a charge, but that's that's just for the infrastructure for the the service that that OCI uses for that. But for the actual resources that we provide from our team, zero dollars. Incredible. Okay, cool. So I don't know if you want to get into this now. Maybe we can do it some other time. But like. You've already worked with a, a few different teams to realize their vision, right? Like, can you tell us about some of those just to paint paint a, a more clear picture about who this is for and what the scope is, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. so can you just talk a little bit about maybe a project you've worked on as a solution solution solutions engineer on the Code Innovate team where you've helped you know, a group of in individuals, you've recognized their use case, you've, you've identified some of their, their challenges, and then you've helped them deliver, as you said, in their environment. Is there one or two, uh, you know, experiences in your past that, that come to mind? Sure, sure. I'm glad you asked. And uh, let me go ahead and share my screen just to have a little visual aid. Sure. We were working with this client who was running into performance issues with an existing business process that they had. So they were wanting to import some business uh, data into Oracle Fusion SaaS, but they were running into some serious performance issues. Um, it was taking hours and hours to run. Um, sometimes the file processing or the process was running into the next day which was causing some really big operational bottlenecks. Um, so what we did together is we came together and put our heads and said, hey, let's look at how we can improve this business process. Let's see if this is something that we can do in Oracle Integration Cloud in OIC. So what we did is we kind of scoped out a use case um, similar to what you're seeing on screen now, where in Instead of using the existing business process where they were comparing against files, we use Oracle Autonomous Transaction Processing Database as our central data store, as well as preserving some of the other business logic and, and implementing the uh, actual import process to Fusion SaaS in this integration. So ultimately, during our week of uh, the Code Innovate build out itself, uh, we built this integration end to end also included some error handling and notifications and other components as well. But this resulted in a performance increase or cut down on their performance time by about 80 to 90%. So a process that took hours and hours, you know, sometimes went into the next day, now could be completed in just a matter of a few minutes or, you know, a fraction of an hour. So that was a great outcome. And not only did they have this first pass prototype, this integration built out in their environment, ready to go, but it also gave them, you know, some more knowledge, some more hands-on training, some more uh, confidence in the platform and in the tool set to help them get building other solutions and, uh, you know, help them get into the platform themselves. Um, so this was a particularly good outcome for us for, for this Code Innovate. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, great. I have a funny feeling 
that, you know, in the future, you and I will, again, dive deeper into, into the, the components aspect of this in the future, definitely not five minutes from now. Um, but you know, in the future, mm -hmm. uh, so, so hopefully let me do this thing that obnoxious YouTubers do. So right above my head will be a link to that video. If you're curious, um, so, but, but for real, if you want to dive deeply into that, Wilson and I will be, will be talking about the components, uh, aspect of code innovate, but for now, let's just, let's just call it here and hope that we've teased code innovate enough. I hope we have, it's an incredible program. I been working at Oracle for a while. And when I was told that this is a real thing, like I, like what we we do this that's really nice of us <laughs> you know um and and you know from conversations i've had with you like this is super impactful this is really helpful this is changing you know people's approaches to to building let's say whatever app that that they're trying to build um so let's just leave it there if you dear viewer would like to get involved in the code innovate team there are a couple ways you could do that. I'll give you an email address. Um, but the, I think the most straightforward way to do that is to go to dev.o, developer.oracle.com slash community slash code dash innovate. I would just go to dev.developer.o.com and search for code innovate. But God bless, you know, choose whatever path you want. Uh, Wilson, if you could remind me of the not so rolling off the tongue email address that one would use to get in touch with Code Innovate, what would that be? Sure. Um, so it's right here in this slide. Beautiful. What a beautiful email address. Code Innovate underscore US underscore GRP at Oracle.com. Nice. My favorite part is the GRP. That you got it. You got to get the group. You, Make you sure really do. Group, not, not an individual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, okay, folks, we're going to leave it there. If you want to join us as we dive deeper into Code Innovate, please do that by, again, going here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hopefully it works or it'll just look like I'm partying. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, Wilson. Thanks, everyone.